This movie is going to demonstrate the new features added to the backup utility as well as a few general items. If we go to the backup utility, the first thing you'll notice is that the system parameters has been added to the backup list. These are the attributes and notes that you can create while at the splash screen that you use throughout the program and now you have a separate or a means of backing them up. If you'll notice also you have the ability to back up the CFG which is job configuration files. This is a new feature also that's been added to the job properties. When you start a job and make all your job property selections you can now save that as a job configuration file or template so that the next time you start a job you can select those properties that you use most often without having to enter them each and every time. If we go to the settings tab you'll notice at the bottom that you can now use the backup comment as the folder name. We've always given, you've always had the ability to put a comment on, a, on your folder that's being saved and now that comment can be used as the folder name itself. You also have the ability to change uh, the backup location and use whatever folder you would like. Let's do a backup. For this example, I'm going to type in the word test as my comment. Select OK. Now if I go to the backup utility again and look at archives, you can see that my folder there is test. If I go to the automatic backups folder, you can now see that the backup file there exists and it's called test and it contains everything that I wanted to back up. Now let's move into a job. As I just described, we have the new feature called the job configuration file. In this sample, I have gone through and made all my selections the way I want this job built. As you can see, I have cherry materials. My construction, construction method is 32 millimeter. I saved this and I named it Test Job Properties 32 mil. I also have one which I've called Test Job Properties 1FF, standing, which stands for face frame. If I click there, you can see that my job properties now change to face frame, five piece drawer, and my materials instead of cherry are now alder. This gives you the ability to completely set up all of your job properties, save it as a job configuration file or template, so that in the future all you have to do is select the template and not make individual changes each and every time. I'm going to click OK and go on into the job. As I'm placing walls, I want to zoom in a little to make sure that I'm getting exactly the placement that I want. If you'll notice, Solid is not zooming back out each time I place the wall as it did in the past. Solid now waits for you to finish and to zoom back out yourself. We've also added an Overrides tab to the Job Properties screen. In this example, I'm going to change the face frame from face frame to a frameless construction method and say OK. And now if I go to the room, I look at the overrides and you can see that the cabinet construction method has been overridden in this room and it listed here. You can certainly click on this and remove it and go back to the original construction method. If you notice at the lower right hand side of your screen, we now have a quick units reference. All you have to do to change from inches to millimeter is simply come down here and click instead of going up to the preferences tab uh, as before. So this is a very convenient feature for you. In the past we've had build warnings which still exist, but whenever one occurred it would flash on the screen and would stop you from processing and you would have to handle it immediately. We've now changed that so it's going to appear in the lower right hand corner and give you the option of doing something about it or not, just continuing to process. So for example, I'm going to place a base cabinet on a wall. Let's take this into the editor. 
I'm going to change the slab drawer front into a square raised panel. And I'm going to change the height of this down to 3 inches. As you'll see over on the right, it tells me something is happening, a build warning. If I click on that, then it shows the message log screen that you're used to, and you can proceed, and it tells you what it is, and gives you the opportunity to do something about it. If you weren't worried about that, you can just let it go and continue your processing. This completes the moving for the new features of the backup utility and other general items. For more information on how Cabinet Vision can help you become more efficient and profitable, please visit www.cabinetvision.com. Thank you for watching.